Hey, what's up guys? This is my review of the Discovery Optics 4.5 to 18 by 44 tactical scope. It's first focal plane, great glass, durable as hell. You'll see through some of these destructive tests that I found online and a really, really good dealer to buy it from. Okay guys, before we go any further, I want to talk about something real quickly, then we'll get on to the scope review. Um, and that's good customer service. I've dealt with Brian before at Ed Gun West. He's an incredible air gun mechanic. Uh, just a great dude. He's not a salesman. He's a businessman and he takes care of his customers. So I'm proud to buy my stuff from him when I'm uh, able to. I don't do a lot of PCP stuff, but everybody I know that's bought an Ed gun from him raves about the service that he gives. And he does little nice things like, yes, sir. When he says, I'll contact you tomorrow, he actually contacts you tomorrow. When he says, I have it in stock, it'll go out tomorrow, guess what? You get a tracking number that lets you know he actually shipped it. Not like some of the other companies that you pay on a Wednesday and then you pay extra to have it shipped out. It doesn't ship till the following Tuesday. Y'all know who I'm talking about and it's aggravating. It's really great to deal with somebody that puts customer service as a priority and that's the kind of person Brian is. That's the kind of place Ed Gun West is. So y'all don't hesitate to do business with him. Uh, Lord knows I don't. And I've been 100% satisfied every single time I've ever dealt with him. Here we go with the review. All right, now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this thing. I'm gonna show you all the goodies inside. We're gonna look down range, put it through his paces, and we'll see how it stacks up. I think you guys will be surprised. Here we go. All right, guys, now what we got here is the scope, the box, and everything that comes in it. Give me just a second, we'll go through it one at a time. All right, first things first is the scope. The thing is optically unbelievable for this price range, and I can't wait to get it over there and get to testing it. Now, let me show you some of the other stuff that comes in the box. All right, of course, it comes with the owner's manual. It comes with a little coaster. It has all the specs on it. And I know that's going to be hard to read. So just one second and I'll show you the specs up close. Comes with a little chamois cloth to clean the lenses. One of these little honeycomb filters to cut down on the glare. The front lens flip up cover, which by the way, it's all plastic. So taking this thing on and off the scope, it doesn't damage the outside of the scope, which is nice because some of the ones that are all metal, when you pull them on and off that scope, it will scratch it. The eyepiece flip up cover built the same way. And there is something else that's nice about this. This thing is spring loaded. So when you pop it loose, it raises real slowly and it doesn't flop over which believe me, anybody that's ever been in a deer stand and had that happen, that only happens one time. It's a big part of the reason I don't use covers on my scope. All right, it also comes with this little doohickey. What the hell is that, Joe? This little double threaded ring? What could that be for? All right, and what this bracket here does, it allows you to use any smartphone and look through your scope and film through your scope. As a matter of fact, Part of the footage that you saw today is going to be filmed with my phone that's not fancy through the scope and we'll see if you can tell which is which that is a super interesting touch to add to a scope and i'm really hoping it'll inspire some of the guys that watch my videos to start making their own videos and by the way depending on what kind of gun you have it's a freaking hoot to look through the screen, have your friends around and shoot something and be able to track the pellet in flight. It's great. Okay, now that we've looked at everything that's in the box, let's look at some of the features of this thing up close. Start with the eyepiece. Now, when I say this thing is tight, it is incredibly tight. I have never tried a scope or tested a scope that is as tight as this one which yeah, is not a bad thing at all. It'll make sure there's no point of impact shifts. And once you focus it for your eye, it's not like you're gonna be jacking with it anyway. But it is super, super tight. I love it. There's a look at the magnification, turned it four and a half power. And there it is turned up to 18 power. Now like the eyepiece, the magnification ring is also very, very tight, which I like. I don't like anything on the scope shifting around. 
All right, there's a quick look at the turrets. You can see one click is one tenth of a mil at 100 yards. They also are lockable and re -zeroable. Just a second and I'll show you. And to lock the turrets and unlock them, all you have to do is pull them, turn them, and push, and they lock. They work very well. There's a look at the side focus, turn to 10 yards. And there it is turned up to one of the higher markings. By the way, I also checked to make sure that the markings that are on the side of the scope corresponded with what the distances actually were, and they were, which is nice because a lot of scopes don't do that. All right, there's a quick look at the objective end. What causes those odd colors are the coatings. All right, guys, now just one second. We're gonna put this thing through its paces, but before we start, look at this. That's what first focal plane means. The crosshair grows with the image and look how crisp the image is. Just one second. I'll focus down here in the sunlight. Look how beautiful the contrast is in that. This thing has some really, really good glass in it. I'm really, really liking it. Okay, first things first. Let me do the magnification. Make sure there's no run out error, which there should not be. In first focal plane scopes, there's it's almost impossible, but it could happen, so I always like to check it. And by the way, on the lowest magnification, you can see you can still clearly see the crosshair. A lot of first focal planes, when you turn them down too low, you can't see them. Now that fence is 38 yards away, and you can also see on the highest magnification that you can aim very precisely. It's a great thickness of a crosshair for this magnification range. Okay, I've got the turrets unlocked. Let's check the tracking. We'll do the vertical first. One turn. Two turns. And a half. One turn. Turns. And back to where we started. See how far down it'll go. As you can see, it's got a lot of adjustment room. And that's where we started. Vertical tracking checks out great. Let's try the horizontal. Back where it started. Right there, back where I started. Okay, let's do the box test. I'm gonna go two revolutions in every direction. One, two, one. Two, one, two, two. All right, now let's try something that a lot of scopes, especially side focus scopes, do very poorly. And that's the run out test on the adjustable objective. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run it all the way down to the low end at 10 yards. Then I'm gonna run it all the way up to infinity and we'll see how much it shifts. Those posts are two by fours. Normally on a scope in this price range, the shift is normally about two inches at 38 yards, which is what that fence is. So let me try it and we'll see how much this thing shifts. All right, here we go. That's 10. And that's infinity. 
10. And that's infinity. And there you go. Guys, except for my Weaver target scope, this one has less run out error than any scope I've tested that costs less than $700. So we're talking about solid construction, a badass scope, as you could tell by the other piece of the video, uh, almost indestructible. I can't see a way to go wrong. It's a great scope, great glass. Let me zoom all the way in and give you a real good look at the crosshair. There you go. That's my camera zoomed in on 100% and 18 power at 38 yards. Now, it's not as optically clear as it would appear to your eye because I've got it zoomed in so far. But this is what your eye would see. All right, guys, there you go. If you need to get in touch with him, here's his email right here. Uh, it's edgunwest.com. Uh, it's Brian. If you email him, tell him Joe said hi. A great guy to deal with. Uh, somebody you don't have to worry about. Somebody that's got your back. But it's a great scope. First focal plane, lockable turrets, great glass, great tracking, perfect warranty. For under $300, this damn thing's gonna be hard to beat. And if you do have a way to beat it, with something else that'll do all these things, won't you list it below in the comments? Guys, thanks for watching my videos. I genuinely appreciate it. And I've got more coming, and I hope you watch them and like them too. Have a great day.